festival at the Black was for? Mm -hmm. The first tomato? Mm. Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Stand Cooking. As seen in the title, yes, it's that time of the year again where we look out for the caterers and the appetizer lovers. What are we making today? We're about to make some festival aki flatbread. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. You see, after the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. And we are back, as I said before, making some festival aki flatbread. Yes, you heard right. You don't know like festival, which is the fried dumpling, and we love aki. What are we doing? Making that into a flatbread, a nice appetizer. You can add chicken, whatever thing you want. You can add fried chicken, jerk, anything you want to add on this. We'll make it perfect. So the caterers out there are the people who love appetizer on a whole. This one is for you. Let's get cooking. So first and foremost, I have here one third cup of warm water. And I put this in my microwave for about 30 seconds, there about. To that, I'm gonna add yeast. So for festival, we usually put baking powder. This time, I need a light, airy, fluffy um, pizza light dough, but from festival, right? So I'm gonna go in a two and a half teaspoon of dry yeast, instant dry yeast. And warm water will activate it. To that I'm going to add about a teaspoon of the sugar that I have because I have here three tablespoons of sugar but I'm going to go in with a teaspoon just so the yeast can feed from the sugar to activate properly. How will you know when it's activated? You don't have to stir this or anything, just leave it as is. After about 10 minutes it will foam up and double in size. So after that we'll show you what's happening. Put that to the side. So while that's working you got a bowl, you get a sift. And we have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, table flour, counter flour, anyone you want to call it. And we're going to sift that out with half a um, cup of fine grain cornmeal. You don't know cornmeal make festival. Nice. Yeah. Then I have here my sugar, the remaining of the sugar. As I said, it was three tablespoons of sugar. You can use two depending on how sweet you like your festival. Right. Then to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. And we're going to sift. So we sift those ingredients out to remove any lumps from the flour that there may be. Mix that around. And also I have here two tablespoons of melted butter. Alright, so there we go. This is nice and foamy. That's what you want. Mix that around. And we're going to dunk that right into the center of our flour. as well as our unsalted butter, which is two tablespoons. Give that a quick mix to form the dough. If you need more water at this stage, you can add, but it's better to add than to take away. All right, so I need a little bit more water. So in total, I wanna say a half a cup of water. All right, with your clean hands, you're gonna form that dough. So you lift on your press to form that dough. Great place to start is half cup of water. Warm water for that yeast. That's a great place to start. And then you just add a little bit at a time. Just so you get that consistency of the dough that you're looking for. Now this is my ideal dough. Alright. Use the fingertips to lift the dough and press with the palm. Turn that around with, in opposite side until I have somewhat of a smooth tacky dough. That dough is fine. First of all, I'm gonna get a little oil, drizzle that in the pan and rub the dough all around. And then we're just gonna wrap that up. I'm gonna leave this on the stove top or somewhere nice and warm just so it can proof and double in size. Once you have the dough out the way, while that is being proof for about 30 minutes, then you can prep the vegetables and stuff for your aki. Let's go. So choice of vegetables for the aki. I'm going to go in with some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, Roma tomato because it's nice and firm, white onions, scotch bonnet pepper, and a little bit of garlic, right? So firstly, I need a quarter of each of these peppers. So 
So we're gonna start off with our bell peppers. I just wanna cut these into julienne strips. Nice little strips. Then our onion. As for the tomato, we're gonna cut those into circles. And a little scotch bonnet. And there we go. We have the tomato, the onion, the bell peppers, the garlic, and the scotch bonnet pepper, right? This is our mise en place. All right, so I have here one can of aki. So we're gonna pour off the liquid from the aki. That's our aki. It's already pre-cooked from the can. We just throw the water off and rinse that out to get off the brine, right? All right, so to my pan, I'm gonna add some oil, about two tablespoons. I'm gonna allow that now to heat up. All right, so what you wanna do now, we're gonna saute our vegetables with the exception of the tomatoes. So first up, I'm gonna go in with my onion. I'm gonna pop in about five pimento berries. So we're gonna allow these to saute up nicely. Then we're gonna hit that now with our bell peppers. Season to taste with salt, black pepper, it's about a quarter teaspoon, and a half teaspoon of salt. Gonna hit that now with the scotch body pepper as well as that garlic. As I said, we're gonna reserve the tomatoes. So create a space in the center. We're gonna go in with our aki. Gonna season with salt again to taste. I'm gonna be using about a half teaspoon. And black pepper over there. Yep. So you're gonna scoop up your vegetables on top of your aki. Bring some heat up top. Shake that to level it out. And we're gonna allow that to cook for about five minutes on medium low heat. Shake that around. And gently flip. So we're gonna give that a taste now, and we're gonna adjust for seasoning where necessary. This tastes so good. There we go. I wanna take out a few of these ackies. Just the aki, we're gonna remove a bit of that aki. All right, we're gonna set this to the side because we took out a good portion of it. So you grab yourself a fork, and we're just gonna mash these. That's what you want. Here goes our festival dough which has been proofing for almost an hour deflate that get out all the gas from there i'm going to divide this dough into two set aside one roll that into a ball so with the help of a little cornmeal sprinkle on a clean surface And we're gonna roll that out. So we're gonna try and get this into a rectangle, so to speak. Beautiful. Going to give it a little bit of cornmeal. So I'm gonna be using a docker. We're doing this so the dough doesn't proof. All right, so I have here a baking tray as well as a pre reusable grease paper. And we're just gonna go on here and I'm gonna blind bake these for about two to five minutes right on 500 degrees and gonna work on the next one we're gonna go in some pizza mozzarella and I'm gonna shred those honestly I'm here eating this Look how soft that is. Mm -mm. All right. So much starting to crisp up. That's what you want. 
So now it's time for us to assemble. So with that aki, it's going to serve as a tomato sauce in a sense. I'm going to go on here with that crush aki. Spread that out. I'm going to leave a little bit at the side just to get that nice crispy edge. All right, how are we looking? We're looking good. Now we're gonna add that mozzarella cheese on top. So spread that out. We're gonna go on with our tomatoes now. Spread them out nicely. Put a touch of black pepper on my tomatoes. You ready now? So that aki with the sweet peppers. You don't have to be all nice and neat like me, you know. But this is for presentation purpose. So you just put down those bell peppers remember it has all that flavor and then we put some of the chunky aki on here so that way you can identify what it is give each tomato a aki yeah to bit the onion here and there look at that beautiful so that's why we pre-bake this because we don't want to keep this in for too long so it burned five more minutes or so or until it fully reheat those are still somewhat warm but fully reheat and we're good to go in the oven cheese melted i put that on broil we have the nice crispy edge you can cut this so we're gonna cut this down the middle. Oh my God. Turn that around in the center. We're gonna cut that into about six pieces. Oh my days. So we'll just drizzle. A little bit of balsamic glaze, nothing crazy. And there it is. <laughs> the festival Aki flatbread was born. Beautiful. When you're ready, we'll get a slice that has everything right here. Cheese pull. Haha. -ha. Oh my days. Let me show you the bottom of that. And there you go. That's the bottom of it. Nice. You ready? <laughs> Everything. We have, we have onion. We have cheese. We have tomato. We have lots of aki. And we have bell peppers. Ready? Oh, wow. First of all. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Let me show you that one bite. Oh yeah, that fluffy bite. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god. <clears throat> Creamy. Cheesy. Hey. If you make this here, make sure you link me up with them. Well, I'll know. Try this. I have to try this. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Chef, can I use baking powder? No. Use. Use um, the yeast. That's way, that way it's going to cook quick in the oven. 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh my days. Mm -mm. That fresh tomato. Mm. Mm -mm. The crispy edge. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Map up to my balsamic vinegar. It's a match made in heaven. 
Festival Aki Flatbread. So the edges are crispy, you know, right? And then the rest of the bread is nicely, or should I say the rest of the festival bread is nicely made up like a, like that of a pizza. But you know, flat bread. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I, man. Let's go. Mm -mm. Must try. Look at it, I feel like I've got to some for the farm. But I'm telling you. If you're a lover of Aki, you are gonna love this. You are gonna love this. You are gonna love this. Oh my god! Boy! Boy! Yeah, man, say. If you did enjoy this video and you learned something new today, and you're gonna apply this to your life, my face probably makes you don't mind that. My eyes probably droop because I'm tired of the place hot. Leave a like on the video. And see if you love my vibe and you want to see many more creative ideas like this, traditional Jamaican dishes, don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 600,000 subscribers. With your help, one million a day too far. I don't know how we can do it. No found as a chef. You should have done this before, but I do it for my day and I just got time where I work with. So if you want to push me further, Subscribe to the channel. It's why I say share this video to someone who loves Aki. If you try this out, let me know how it turned out for you. It's why I say, as I say, I made this one with the caterers in mind. The people who do catering for people. This is something where you can whip up, give them as appetizer. Wicked! Mm. The festival, Aki flatbread. Yeah, man, it's not a regular arm doing you know, it's a festival door, the Jamaican festival door. You see me? Yeah. Instead of use tomato sauce, Use that aki as the sauce for the base. So you know, aki can scan too little bit. And then we'll put the chunks of aki to showcase what it is. That is it, my friends. Once again, thank you very much for watching. We we'll see you until next time. See if shop up on the gravel. And go and big up on yourself.